What's up guys, my name is Talha and you're watching Gadgets is for you. So in today's video, I'm going to do the full review of the Pixel experience running in the Poco X3 Pro. So there are some things which are really awesome in this room and yeah, there are some things which are really just awful. <laughs> so starting off with the things I love about this room is its smoothness. It is one of the smoothest rooms, obviously it's a pixel room, it has to be smooth and yes, it del delivers on that promise of smoothness. It is really smooth, you don't have to worry about the smoothness anytime, it's just amazing. And you know, on top of the smoothness, they have also improved the battery and the RAM management. So you know, like in earlier rooms, we have tried in MIUI, if you open four apps at once, what happens was, like all the four apps went out of RAM. So yeah, MIUI has probably the worst RAM management till date of the Poké X3 Pro or a lot of smartphones running MIUI. But you know what, in Pixel you don't have that case. In Pixel you have one of the best RAM optimizations ever in the Poké X3 Pro and also on a lot of devices which are running Pixel rooms in general. Because of the fact like they, they are basically stock Android rooms, they use very less hardware of your uh, like a smartphone, they use very less system resources and because of that and on top of the using less resources these rooms are very very optimized so this does help in amazing battery life and amazing ram management so i have used like eight apps multiple apps open in the smartphone and you know they're just they're like heavy apps like we have amazon we have flipkart we have shopping apps which we all use in our daily life and you know the best part about it is it never goes out of RAM, like it always stays and keeps the app in the RAM and that is my favorite part. And even if you open some light games like Stack, it will keep it in the RAM. That is the best thing about this room is its RAM management. Amazing. I just love it. It's my favorite thing about the room. And now as we are in the management, let's just talk about battery life because a lot of people are actually concerned by how good the battery life is going to be of like of their Poké X3 Pro if they have installed the Pixel room. And yes. Okay, we have a bit of problem here because of two reasons. First of all, yeah, it has a big battery and it actually does deliver a very nice 6 plus hours battery backup. But the problem is the screen refresh rate. It doesn't stay at 120Hz all the time like it did in the OnePlus rooms. I don't know why they do that, but yeah, that's one thing. But what happens is it just doesn't go below 60Hz. Now as the, like for the smoothness standpoint of view, I can say that's awesome because at that time, like if your smartphone goes below 60 hertz, you basically feel like it's lagging, it's not the smoothest. So if it doesn't go below 60 hertz, it means it's gonna be smooth all the time, like 100% of the time. But that's where the problem arises. Because when it can't go below 60 hertz, and yes, believe me, the display is capable of going up to as low as 30 hertz. So that's one thing. So if it can go as, as low as in 30 hertz, like in MIUI rooms, and it can't go in pixel room the best thing or like the score the best consequence of that would be a better smoothness is basically less to the battery life so yeah, smoothness is inversely proportional to battery life we're not teaching physics here but yeah that's one thing so in general what i'm trying to say is it is not going to give you the best battery life ever but it is also not going to give you so bad battery life like in oxygenous rooms like in the oneplus port which i recently covered so it's just um, neutral, natural, normal build. So that's one thing. In terms of battery, you're not gonna be disappointed. It's nice. And as we are into the battery, let's just talk about one more issue which I found out in this room, and that is the screen flickering issue. Now what that basically is, if you keep the brightness very low, like let me just remove this brightness to like this much, like the lowest, I think you barely can't see the phone right now. Or what happens is in low light, if you keep the brightness very, very low, what happens is the screen flickers. It just like, yeah, I'm gonna show you in the video. As you guys can see, the screen is flickering and that flickering problem is a problem which was in a lot of OnePlus rooms and it is in the Pixel room. Sadly, I think it will be fixed very, very soon. And you know what? They have also released, like the room developers have also released the Pixel Plus UI for the Poco X3 Pro. And I think I'm gonna try that out because I'm just too excited to try that out. So that's one thing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like it's an awesome room. It offers amazing performance. Don't get me wrong. It has one of the best performance in the like Android 12 rooms because this room has zero bugs. The stability is amazing. Like it's on this level. And a lot of rooms like Arrow OS especially has the worst stability ever. Like I'm not talking about Android 11. Arrow OS in Android 11 dominated. It was great. Like honestly, it was amazing room. It was an amazing room. Was. But now, as Arrow OS Android 12 is out, it isn't that good. Like, they just, I think they kind of messed up because of the new Android 12 architecture. But they're going to catch up really, really soon. So don't worry about that. 
Air OS is still my favorite, but as of now, the best Android 12 ROM award goes to the Pixel experience running in the Poco X3 Pro. Excellent battery life, outstanding performance, a bit of screen flickering issues, a little like at times, you know, bugs here and there, normal Android 12 stuff, nothing to worry about. And yeah, that wraps up my review. Hope you find it useful. It I know it's like not that big. It's kind of a very small review, but I love what I do and I'm going to make a lot of videos, not just about the Poco X3 Pro. I'm going to make videos about all kind of tech in the future. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you give this video a very good thumbs up and I will see you around. Peace out.